Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. When a Trump administration official was asked what they were thinking when they decided to separate immigrant children from their parents, he said, we figured we'd deport the parents, take away the children, and we didn't think anyone would care. I don't think he realized it, but he was admitting to a crime. He and the other officials who made this decision could face conspiracy and kidnapping charges. That won't happen while this administration is in power, but it could and should happen when Trump and his flunkies are thrown out of office. At present there are over 500 children whose parents were deported and the children kept here. And the judge who is hearing this case has set deadlines for those families to be found and the children given back and the INS has failed to meet those deadlines. In fact, they are not making much of an effort. Judge has been very patient with them. He needs to lose his patience. He needs to find the heads of ICE, the INS, and Department of Health and Human Services in contempt of court and send them to jail and make it clear that they will stay there until those children and their parents are reunited and leave open the option that more Trump administration officials could find themselves in the same jail. If anybody deserves jail time, they do. We're Americans. We can do amazing things. All we need is a little motivation and that's what's needed in this case. Maybe they would then put the same amount of energy into finding those parents as they did into deporting them. It shows the callous and depravity of the Trump administration. They thought they could do this and Americans would not care. They seriously underestimated the American people. They thought we were as conscienceless and evil as they are. But for most Americans, regardless of how they feel about immigration, this is a step too far. Real Americans are at heart a big-hearted people, especially where children are concerned. This is something the Catholic Church is learning the hard way. Now it is true that there are roughly 30% of the people who live here will go along with anything the Trump administration does. But those aren't real Americans. They may have citizenship, they may have been born here, but they really don't belong here. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page, the other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.